need your love. I'm going to the fields today to play some soccer. I'm getting ready to head out to the fields with my dad. Answer some questions you guys have. Touch the ball, cause I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've not touched the ball in a minute, in a weeks. And uh, I give myself a little break. So we're gonna be touching the ball today. I did a video on like TikTok and Instagram and it got a good amount of views of me doing like my hair for game days. I just wanna say like for practices and stuff, I don't wear my hair like that, only for games because my hair is gonna obviously get in my face and like for games especially, you can't just like, there's no water breaks like that, you can't just like do your hair in the middle of a game. So you have to have it really tight and secure, you know? All the comments were like, you're gonna be bald, you're gonna get bald, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I know that I've been wearing ponytails all my life. Like I know, you have to tell me, I know. Um, a lot of you guys asked if I had like a makeup routine for soccer and stuff. And like, as much as I'm like, if you wear makeup to trainings or whatever, like good for you. But for me personally, I have very sensitive skin, so I can't. And like on top of that, I don't like the feeling of wearing makeup and sweating it all off. Let's see if there's any questions. Oh wow, there's already a lot. Let's start with the first one. Which position do you play? So I am, to me, I'm a true winger. I like being on the wing side. But when I got to college, um, we play a different formation. We play a 3-4-3. I feel like I don't fit into that formation just cause like it's a little different from what I, how I played in high school. Like I was a true winger in high school or a true outside back. And now I'm a forward. It's just like not my true position, but I mean, what can you do with it? Do you remember your first goal? No, I don't remember most of my goals. I just can't remember my first one. Maybe my mom or dad can tell you my first goal. Give me my point. You can show yourself, say hi. I don't wanna show. We're headed to Dick's Sporting Goods because... Say hi, puppy. Hi. Oh mm -hmm. my God. What? what was I gonna say? Oh, you gotta tap on me over here and there. We're going to, Di no, on the camera, mommy. Why are you tired of We're going to Dick's Sporting Goods because how does a soccer player only have one functional soccer ball? I could not tell you. I have soccer balls, they're just really ugly. You know the ones I'm talking about, the bright yellow one with the, and then the neon? So I'd rather have class for this video and get a really nice soccer ball. <laughs> when do you start playing? I started playing, yeah, I think I said it in the video earlier. I started playing when I was like six, seven, and then I stopped for a bit. I did some cheerleading. <laughs> I did dancing, which it wasn't for me, so I stuck to soccer. I, You know a lot of kids do like different sports growing up, like I just completely stuck to soccer ever since I was, I think I really committed to soccer when I was seven and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, next okay. question. Can you, do you remember your first goal? I, I answered this one earlier, I don't remember. Do you remember my Yeah, first it was in the Baptist church. Show yourself. Um, it wasn't that Baptist church by Windermere. It was like little kids. No, I mean, uh, like a small, like four by four. No, four by four, four by four. But you remember my first goal? Was it like a pass? I remember your first goal because you and Dominica were like passing each other and then you scored and then she scored and like, it was like 10 goals. Dominica and I were the best on the team. Yeah. Next question. What can you do to improve my skills? Like technical ability kind of skills, you just have to practice that every day. Technical work, you have to really spend time with spend the ball. time with the ball. Like have your feet comfortable with the ball, on and off the ball. Like it's a lot of footwork stuff. So. The, the beach, have you ever tried beach soccer? Um, I've never like been in a league or anything to play it. Like beach soccer, beach soccer is actually really hard. Did you play beach soccer? Yeah. Did you like it? Was it harder? Yes. You know what I really like? I like futsal. How did you get scouted? That's a good question. I was in high school and it was my senior year of high school. So junior year is when COVID happened. And COVID caused so many fucking problems. They were done recruiting because of all the money problems. Kids that were graduating got a whole other year for free. Like it was just like this whole problem. Like, so I, I remember junior year, I was stressing out. Cause I was like, I might not get 
I remember you, you were getting a bunch of emails I, yes. and then hot coffee hit and stall. Junior year when COVID hit, I had started creating my highlight video. And my highlight video was about six, seven minutes. And I got a few coaches that messaged me from it, but the one that stood out the most was the college that I go to right now, which is Nova Southeastern. Um, it's a small D2 school in Fort Lauderdale. You guys liked it too. It was mm -hmm. so nice. Yeah, because we went to North Carolina. And <laughs> I went to a school in North Carolina too, and I was not the biggest fan. I came from a school in high school where there was a lot of diversity and lots of culture, and I wanted that in my college, and that college didn't have it, which is nothing wrong with that, but I wanted that. So yeah, that's not what you wanted. Yeah. I love the school that I'm at right now. Um, to get this ball. I was gonna get that one because she's cute. <laughs> is she expensive? She's cute but she's expensive <laughs> and this one is $10 cheaper so. and it's pumped up. The winds are very strong. I wonder if they're gonna be able to hear me. Besides Ronaldo or Messi, who is your favorite player? Growing oh mommy. <laughs> Growing up my favorite player was Drogba. He played for Chelsea for a bit. Uh, I still have the FIFA game, the, like, the FIFA video game where Drogba was playing for Chelsea. Is he playing for MLS now? Who? Drogba. No. Uh, I could have sworn he was in that MLS. Why soccer? That's a good question. Do you try other things? I try I, because I love, like, I like the ball at my feet. I'm not very hand um. It. I'm just not very hand coordinated, body coordinated like that. Like, I'm only soccer coordinated. That makes sense. My dad used to play in high school. And, um, when I was growing up, I used to watch him play all the time. He was really good, actually. He has been trying to hit me with that ball since we got here. her games over there for like two years I trained a few girls like I would come 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. I would be at school training soccer weights and then I'll come here around 6 15 for like another two or three hours training girls making money like that so yeah. Bella mm -hmm. why are you so tired you haven't run I'm not tired am I breathing hard yeah I'm not tired I'm just excited ah, I could kill <laughs> Next question is, do you see yourself going pro? Fuck, no, no I'm just kidding. No, I don't. Um, I wanted to go pro when I was younger, but um, then I got to high school and, and I like I loved it in high school and it was so competitive, but I realized like that's not what I want to do. I love soccer, but I think it would make me miserable if I did this my whole entire life. Come closer. Come closer. What's your favorite European team? I like Man City. I like, I like uh, Liverpool and uh, Man U. Who's been your soccer idol growing up? Mommy. Yeah, it was always my dad. That's right. How do you deal with lack of discipline? Well, we have that a lot. Well, you don't have lack of discipline. No, I you don't, don't have I've lack always of been able to deal with other players. I've had to deal with other players that don't know how to respect coaches. But, yeah, but personally, like, I've always been able to take constructive criticism as much as it makes me want to cry. la recibe se la pasa Ramírez golazo I don't want to hear wow this is how you train this is not a real training session yeah come on, come on. relax it's just us messing around so. I'm not next to nothing I had the opportunity to play in Colombia when I was in high school but I turned it down because I was only a lefty it's not a joke. this is like for real for real <laughs> How do you manage doing school and soccer? It's like a job, honestly. You get used to it. You just gotta learn how to get your priorities straight. You can do that. Right. Yes, you can't think positive. Go, my amor, go, go, kick it, kick it. You can do it, you can do it. Oh, yeah. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Ay. Someone asked, if soccer wasn't your first sport, what sport do you think you would have played? Volleyball. I so, my dad's also really good at volleyball. I so would have played volleyball. Volleyball, if not volleyball, tennis, if not tennis, basketball. That's it.
Is gonna win the World Cup. I Messi. have no idea. What? <laughs> There's a private school here. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Montverde Academy, but I played for Montverde Academy for three years. It was the best three years of my life. I loved it. I played with the best of the best girls. I think that's what made me the player I am because I also had an amazing high school coach. He was the best of the best. So um, it was like a mini college. Yeah. yeah. You probably have heard of Montverde Academy if you know like basketball players like RJ Barrett. Who else? It's like a lot of famous basketball Con players. Have you had any soccer related injuries? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, plenty. I have surgery on my knees. And I've pulled my groin. Are you a righty or a lefty? I am a righty. And do you feel like soccer helps with your mental health? Yes. Not specifically soccer, but as an athlete, have you ever felt any pressure to look a certain way? No, I'm just mean me. I'm mean me. <laughs> uh, do you lift weights? Yes, I do. It's required when you go to a college team. <laughs> How do you stay fit outside of practice? <laughs> so usually when season is over, we try to like play pickup. No. What cleats do you recommend? I have very wide feet, so I feel like Adidas fit me better. Nike is very narrow, so personally I like Adidas shoes. How do you balance academic soccer and your other, your other career goals? I don't know guys, I'm like still trying to figure out how I balance it myself too because it's tough. <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> Thank you for watching me play some soccer. I am going to be trying to post more on YouTube of course. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube. Thanks for watching, thanks for enjoying and watching my dad and I play. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys soon. Say bye. Bye. Bye.